Hey everyone, I wanted to make a, a cardiac reversal tip for the year in 2022. So I've recently launched the Cardiac Rehabilitation Diet Division in Quan Nutrition. My name is Ryan Fernando and I'm holding not a cricket ball, but probably what is the most powerful, most powerful fruit for heart disease. And that's the pomegranate. An apple a day does not keep the doctor away, but I think a pomegranate is going to do it for you. So I've been doing a little bit of research and I want to share my screen with you. And it's going to be a little bit technical and a little bit long, but those of you who come from a family history of heart attacks, heart disease, high cholesterol, taking statins, you might just want to listen to this for five minutes to convince you scientifically, drug-wise scientifically, the proper scientific research paper on why this fruit is worth its weight in gold. So let's get started. I want to share my screen. Uh, this is the study, Pomegranate for Cardiovascular Health. If you want a copy of this study and you want to read it or show it to your cardiologist or your heart doctor, then um, please ask me for it. Uh, I digested it today and uh, when digesting it today, look at this, okay? 73 patients with at least one cardiovascular risk consumed PJ, PJ is pomegranate juice, uh, 240 ml per day for one year and they showed trends to increase arterial elasticity, meaning if my blood vessels are a pipeline, as I grow older, my arteries become harder. So they can't expand and take the blood pressure. So if there is a blockage or a lesion, it tends to burst or rupture over there. So if it's flexible, like a rubber hose, lesser chances of ruptures. So this is very, very important on uh, arterial elasticity. I also give collagen. I also give collagen for arterial elasticity, but I did not know that pomegranate juice can improve arterial elasticity. Now, what they did is they found people who had coronary heart disease and uh, what they did is they investigated uh, pomegranate juice consumption on patients with carotid artery stenosis, meaning um, inside the pipeline, there's all khaddas and there's all bumps and everything and blockages and plaque and everything. Now, 10 patients were supplemented with pomegranate juice for one year, 10 guys, 10 people and nine people did not consume pomegranate. Blood samples were collected at three, six, nine, and 12 months on the pomegranate juice, and they measured the carotid intima media thickness, CIMT. That's basically the thickness of the carotid artery, which is here in the neck, okay? And they compared these 10 guys who took the pomegranate and the control group who did not take. Very interestingly, in the control group, meaning the people who did not take the pomegranate juice, their CMT increased, means the blockages, the plaque formation increased, went up by 10%. But in the pomegranate juice, there was up to a 35% reduction. I was mind blown when I read this study. I'm like, why isn't the medical community not adding pomegranate to your diet? Now, Look at this, pomegranate consumption revealed a gradual reduction of 13% in the first three months, 22, 26, and by the ninth month, you went up to as high as 26 to 35%. So that was amazing, okay? So this is one thing, fine. You're not convinced that you should eat pomegranate. Let me go to the next part that they discovered. One of the thing is, hey boss, you have bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, when it gets oxidized, matlab, hey, glucose comes there, fat, food, food, start slapping cholesterol. Hey, cholesterol, tum sida sada molecule kyu hai? Tum sticky ban jao, yaar, plaque form karo. Cholesterol, nahi bhai, mein to ye admi bohat achcha hai na. Thap, glucose gives one shot to the cholesterol. This is called peroxidase oxidation. So oxidation happens on the LDL, the bad guy, and it becomes sticky. And we have found this in the angiographically documented uh, scans where they find the plaques and everything. So what they said over here was, um, it was found that increased oxidative stress was observed in non-insulin type two diabetes. So most people who have diabetes also are having high cholesterol. Matlab the diabetes are going and doing thap thup thup and doing all gundagiri to the cholesterol, making it sticky, increasing your atherosclerosis or plaque formation. But 
on consumption of 50 ml of pomegranate juice per day for a period of three months, there was a significant reduction in the basal serum thiobarbutric acid relative substances. The simplest way I can explain this to you is that this T bars is like a testing to measure the, the oxidation of the uh, cholesterol. How bad is it? Okay. And this T bars test says with pomegranate juice, your gundagiri slapping that is happening on the plaque is reducing by 28%. What do you want to do in heart disease? What do you want to do in diabetes? We want to reduce the cholesterol plaque formation. I just think pomegranate needs to be part of your diet. Hang on, still not yet convinced? Let's go for, further. In carotid artery stenosis, pomegranate consumption by these patients resulted in a significant reduction in the basal level of LDL-associated lipid peroxidizes by 43%, 89%, 86 and a whopping 90% after 12 months. You know, I read this study and I was like, I've got to share this with the world. I mean, even if the world doesn't want to watch this and even if you don't want to share it with anyone, I don't care. If I can save one person's life because they start eating pomegranates every day and take 240 ml of a juice, God bless you for listening into this video. And I hope you live uh, an extra decade because you start eating a pomegranate. Do you know what I am doing? I'm searching to buy a pomegranate farm. I think I want to buy a pomegranate farm. If anyone has a pomegranate farm, uh, please message me. I want to buy a pomegranate farm. I think it's a food worth its weight in gold. Still not yet convinced? Hang on, hang on. A little bit more in this study. Okay, uh, where was that? Yeah. In this carotid artery stenosis patients, systolic BP was reduced by 7%, 11%, 10%, and 12% after 12 months. So most BP patients, most diabetic patients are taking BP medication. Well, I mean, Ryan, 10% is not enough. But here's my thought process. What if I could give you a food uh, that lowers your BP? So any of my clients who have a higher BP, I would say, let's add uh, a pomegranate. By the way, when I had the uh, continuous glucose monitor on my arm uh, and tracking my sugar, when I drank orange juice, my sugar went up. When I drank pomegranate juice, my sugar went down. Now, I'm not saying that we should blindly give pomegranate juice uh, to people with diabetes, but what you could do is take a pinprick and check after half an hour and after 90, 60 and 90 minutes, is the sugar in a patient who's given pomegranate juice maybe at around 11 o'clock between two meals or at four o'clock between two meals. And if the sugar doesn't go up, you can take pomegranate juice and that's the bio-individual approach that I would give you. Final part of the whole study, which is macrophages are basically improved, triglyceride is improved and oxidized lipids accumulation all improve uh, because of the consumption of pomegranate juice. So what are you waiting for? Carotid lesions also contained less cholesterol, which means those bumps had lesser sticky cholesterol in them because of the pomegranate. And I remember the first one, 35% reduction in plaque formation. It is the drainix. It is the drainix to clean up. Now, don't make mistaken my uh, my enthusiasm to go off your medication because there's one more thing I want to tell you. They found out patients on statin, which is the drug that doctor gives you, please take your statins if your doctors give it you. It saves uh, from incidences of clots, blah, 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 blah. There's a huge benefit on taking statins. Yes, it does cause muscle fatigue. It, it lowers your coenzyme Q10. So your nutritionist should give you coenzyme Q10. But they did this study with statins plus pomegranate juice. And what they found out was mind-blowing for me when I read this, which is, uh, there are these two guys, okay? Uh, Puni Seglasin, uh, which is punicic acid, which is found in the seeds. So you got to eat the seeds, okay? Grind the seeds. And uh, beta uh, stetosterol. Now, both of these are found in pomegranate and they combine it with a statin called simvastatin. Now, what they found out was the reduction in the cholesterol biosynthesis rate was down, reduced by 42% as compared to person only taking statin. So that for me was very interesting. That is, 
my doctor would not have to be give me aggressive statin. I would take the statin with the pomegranate, get my cholesterol down, and then as the months proceed, if I'm an initial heart cardiac patient, uh, I'm cleaning up my arteries over one, two years such that after two, three years of consecutive no high homocysteine, no high lipoprotein A, lipoprotein B, LDL is very good. You can probably be weaned off your statin. Okay, so I don't know what more do you require for me to consider. Sinvastatin, decreased macrophages, reactive oxygen species formation by 11%. ROS is uh, the free radical damage that can happen at that area. So it's almost saying like you're giving a spa to your blood from getting agitated around the cholesterol plaque. Uh, significant inhibition was noted at 61% to 79%. Now, people would say, oh, there were only 10 people in the study. Oh, it was only five people. Was the pomegranate good? Was the pomegranate bad? I'm a nutritionist. I can't argue that medicines are not good and not have a scientific backing. But when a paper is done on a pomegranate juice, and it's out there scientifically documented, my job is to get it to you so you can get it to your doctor. And they may brush it off, but if anybody's worth their weight in gold understands a scientific document and takes the time to read this, they will start writing pomegranate as a prescription for heart health. The cardiac division is now live at Qua Nutrition. It's been my lifelong mission to change the way everybody eats. And I hope this one video makes you buy a pomegranate and not for one day, for the next 365 days. Oh, by the way, I did the calculation. So here in India, uh, I assumed 90 rupees for a pomegranate cost per day. It's gonna cost us 32,000 rupees per year. The cost of one stent is 40,000 rupees, not counting the admission fees, doctor's fees, everything else. And the pain and the suffering that you go through, oh my God, I'm gonna get a heart attack. I think if you wanna live life till the age of 100, buy a pomegranate, eat one every day. I hope to see you uh, in person. And if I ever meet you and this video has influ influenced you, please gift me a pomegranate. God bless you.